Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Istio and Book Info application session at uh, DevNet Create. Myself, Danush. This is the technical overview session about Istio. So, uh, just a quick introduction about me. So, I'm part of Cisco DevNet SRE team with focus around cloud infrastructure management and automation for Cisco DevNet application. So, uh, microservices are an architectural approach to building applications. Single application composed of many loosely coupled and independently deployable smaller components or services. Each services typically have their own application stack, inclusive of database and data management model, communicates with one another over a combination of REST APIs, event streaming, and message broker. So let's look into an example microservice architecture, book info application. The application displays information about the book, similar to a single catalog entry of an online bookstore. So the web page displays information about the book, like book description, book details, book reviews and book ratings as well. So this microservice architecture broken into four separate microservices. Product page, the product page calls reviews and details microservices to bring up the page. The details microservice contains book detail information. The review microservices contains reviews for the book and also calls rating microservice. The rating microservice contains book ranking information and always accompanies book reviews. So this uh, book reviews microservices contain three different version. So version one, which doesn't call the rating microservice. Version two calls the rating microservice and prints each stars, each rating in one to five black stars. Version three calls the rating microservice and prints each stars in one to five red stars. This is the polyglot application. Each microservices are written in different languages. So Python, Java, Ruby, and Node.js. So this makes an interesting service mesh example because of its multitude of services, languages, and different versions of review microservice. Let's look into the challenges of this microservice architecture. Each microservice has its own business logic. Product page handles the request, the details handles the details, reviews handles the reviews, and ratings handles the ratings for the book. Microservices talks to each other. So all the microservices, we need to uh, put proper endpoints for each of the microservices. For example, all the service endpoints that product page talks to must be configured for the product page. So if we add a new microservice, then we need to add the endpoint of that microservice into all of the microservices that needs to talk to it. So we have that information as part of the application code. What about the security? Usually in a common environment, we'll be having a firewall rules in front of the Kubernetes cluster or some kind of proxy that receives the request first so that the cluster cannot be accessed directly. So we have the security around the cluster. Once the request gets inside the cluster, microservices talks to each other with an insecure protocol and they can talk freely with any other microservices. So there won't be any restrictions on that. From the security perspective, if an attacker gets inside the cluster, he can do anything with it, as we don't have any additional security inside the cluster. So additional configuration is required in each of the microservices to secure the communication between the microservices. What about the retry logic? We need to include retry logic into each of the microservices to build the robust application. If microservices are not uh, reachable or if you lose connectivity for a while, we need to retry the connection. So developers needs to include this retry logic into each of the microservices. What about the metrics? Here, we need to monitor how services are performing. What HTTP errors are we getting? How many requests are we sending? How many requests are we receiving? And how long the request is taking in order to identify the bottlenecks in the application? So developers needs to include some kind of uh, monitoring logic for Prometheus and collect tracing data using some tracing libraries like Zipkin. So developers need to all add all this uh, non-business logic into each of the application. So they will be busy in configuring this network logic rather than working on actual application logic. So this adds complexity to the services rather than making it simple and lightweight. Wouldn't it make sense to extract all this non-business logic into a small sidecar application? which acts as a proxy and handles the network logic. So this small sidecar application is a third-party application. 
so uh, which the cluster operators can configure it easily through an API. So we don't need to include this proxy configuration into each of the application pod as the control plane injects the sidecar proxy. So a network layer for service to service communication, including uh, the control plane and the uh, proxy is nothing but a service mesh. Service mesh is a pattern, whereas Istio is an implementation. So it, overcome all the it overcomes all the challenges we had discussed without any changes to the application code of each of the microservice. Now let's look into the Istio architecture. Let's imagine a Kubernetes cluster. So we have an application deployed inside the cluster. So an app container running inside the pod. Just for the sake of discussion, let's imagine an another app container running inside the pod as well. The first thing we need to understand is something about NY. NY can be deployed into an existing application pod as a sidecar container. NY is C++ based proxy, so which can be deployed along with an application so that Istio will talk to it. So this kind of pattern where we have an app running and along with a sidecar container is nothing but a sidecar pattern. So the next component is the pilot. Pilot is the orchestrator, which instruct NY what needs to be done based on the configuration it receives from Galay. Galay is the configuration manager, which uh, what and all the configuration we applied into the Kubernetes cluster, it converts it into a language that Istio can understand. So pilot will pick that up and convert it into an NY based executions. What about Citadel? Citadel helps in identifying and verifying certificate based authentication and authorization between the process and their interaction. If two applications needs to communicate each other, Citadel helps in identifying who has access to what and controlling how applications needs to interact with each other. These three server side components, Pilot, Galley, and Citadel, marks the control plane components of Istio. The data plane component consists of a sidecar container, which acts as a proxy between the application and the control plane. How does the traffic comes into the cluster? So the traffic hits the NY proxies using ingress. If you have a load balancer setup, then the load balancer leverages ingress controller, which allows the traffic to the service. From the service, it hits to the pod. When the request comes to the pod, NY will proxy the request before it's being delivered to the application. So NY can manage and control the request and then redirect to the application once it's verified everything. If the application needs to talk to another application in the same container, then NY will talk to the next NY of the destination application, and then it routes to that application. If it needs to connect to the external world, it goes to the egress route. Let's look into the core features of Istio. So secure service-to-service uh, -service communication using TLS encryption, strong identity-based authentication and authorization, automatic load balancing of HTTP and TCP traffic, and fine grain control of traffic behaviors with rich routing rules, retries, failovers, and fault injection. Automatic metric tracing and logs for all the traffic in the cluster, including ingress and egress. We can configure Istio using Kubernetes YAML files and the custom resource definitions. A custom resource is an object that extends the Kubernetes API, or it allows you to introduce your own API into the cluster so that you can define your own pods deployments and replica sets. So no need to learn the specific language uh, for Istio here. So these are the Istio installation configuration profiles, what we have. So we'll be using the demo configuration profile in our demo session. Now let's look into some traffic management resources. Gateway. Gateways are primarily used to manage ingress traffic, but we can also configure egress gateways. Istio provides pre-configured gateway proxy deployments like Istio Ingress Gateway and Istio Egress Gateway. These gateway configurations will let the traffic from outside world into the mesh, but it doesn't specify any routing from the gateway. For that, we need to define virtual service. Virtual service is one level higher than the Kubernetes service. Virtual service defines a set of routing rules to apply when the host is addressed. Each routing rule defines a uh, matching criteria that uh, for a specific traffic of a specific protocol. So if the traffic is matched, then it will be sent to the named destination service. You can also configure uh, different services like traffic routing, fault injection, retries, redirect and rewrite. Destination rule. 
destination rule defines policies that apply to traffic intended for a service after routing has occurred. So virtual service matches a rule and evaluates a destination to send the traffic, whereas destination rule defines the available subsets of each microservices to send the traffic. Traffic management. We can route to multiple versions of uh, microservices. In order to route to one version, we need to define virtual service that sets the default version of microservices. We can shift the traffic between two microservices or among the microservices. So a common use case is to migrate traffic gradually from an older version, from an older version to any one. Here we are splitting the traffic between version two and version three of review microservices. User identity based routing. Traffic from a specific user can be routed to a specific microservice version. Here we are routing the traffic for user JSON to version two and rest of all the traffic we are routing to version one. So the use case is to route traffic for users from different browser regions like Mozilla, IE and Safari to different versions of microservices. We'll be visualizing our mesh using Kiali. So let's discuss more on the Kiali dashboard in the demo session. So let's jump into the demo to install Istio, book info application deployment, visualizing mesh using Kiali and traffic management. Okay, uh, let's start the demo session here. I have the Minikube set up. So Minikube is a tool to run Kubernetes locally. Let's check the Minikube status. Everything looks good. Minikube runs a single node Kubernetes cluster. I'm on the latest version of Kubernetes here. Let's download Istio. For the installation, as I explained earlier, we'll be using the demo configuration profile. So let's install Istio. This demo profile deploys Istio components like Istio D, Istio Ingress Gateway, and Istio Egress Gateway. Let's verify the installation. Okay, it deployed 13 CRDs and three deployments. Istio is installed and verified successfully. Okay, everything looks good so far. As we can see, Istio hyphen injection is equal to enable label on the default namespace. So let's deploy the sample book info application. So let's look at uh, the resources here. So this deploys review, product page, ratings, and details microservices. So this uh, verifies that Istio is injecting sidecar container to each of the application part here. So now the book info application is deployed, but not accessible from outside. To make it accessible, we need to create an Istio ingress gateway, and that's the entry point for the application. So this gateway listens on port 80, and the selector here is Istio ingress gateway. And now we need to configure where we need to send this request to. So this deploys virtual service as well. And this virtual service bind to the gateway as well. So let's verify. Before we can use Istio to control the book info version routing, so now we can access the web page and which displays information about the book, like book description, book details, reviews, and ratings as well. So if I refresh, I can experience different versions of review microservice. So ratings with uh, black stars is version two of review microservice. Rating with red stars is version three of review microservice. And without any ratings or without any stars is version one of review microservice. So let's visualize the mesh using Kiali dashboard. So let's install some add-ons here.
So uh, this deploys Grafana, Prometheus, Tracing, Zipkin, Zeger, and Kiali. Let's check the rollout status of Kiali and concentrate on Kiali for this session. Okay, it deployed successfully. Now to access Kiali dashboard, we need to convert this cluster IP type service to node port type, which opens up a specific port on the node. Before accessing Kiali dashboard, so let's generate some traffic to the product page using curl. So this requests the product page every couple of seconds. So now we can able to access the Kiali dashboard. So let's look into it. So we can see the traffic in last one minute and it can refresh every 15 seconds. On the left, we can see applications, workloads, services, and Istio config as well. So let's look into the graph section to visualize the mesh. So we need to select uh, the default namespace and also the versioned app graph to display different versions of the microservices. So just to visualize the traffic, let's enable the traffic animation to see how the traffic is flowing. And let's enable the traffic distribution to see how much percentage of traffic being routed to each of the microservices. Let's hide this. So this symbol represents the traffic source. This represents the gateway. This represents the service. This represents the application. And the green edges represents the healthy connection. So the curl command is hitting the Istio ingress gateway, which is sending the request to the product page. And the product page is sending the request to the details and review microservice. The product page is sending traffic to all the three versions of review microservice in a round robin pattern. So that's the reason we experienced three different versions of review microservice when we refreshed each time. Now let's route the traffic to version one of review microservice. Here, we are routing all the traffic to version one of each microservice. So let's check the Kiali dashboard here. We can see the percentage of traffic being sent to version two and version three is reducing. And in a while, we'll be seeing all the traffic flowing to version one of review microservice. Let's wait and check. So now it's sending almost 95% of the traffic to version one. And uh, it's not sending the traffic to version two and version three anymore. So let's check the web page here. As we can see, we are being served only by version one of review microservice. Now let's do some traffic shifting. Let's route 50% of the traffic to version two and 50% of the traffic to version three of review microservice. So here we are distributing almost equal amount of traffic to version two and version three of review microservice. You can see this in the Kiali as well. Now, it will stop send traffic to version uh, one and it's distributing traffic to version two and version three.
So now let's check the web page and refresh here. As we can see, we are being served from version two that is showing rating in black stars and version three that is showing rating in red stars. We're not being served from version one at all. So now we can see almost equal or 50% of the traffic is distributing between version two and version three of review microservice. So now let's route the traffic based on the header. So here we are routing traffic for user JSON to version two and rest of all the traffic we are routing to version one. If we log in as user JSON here, the HTTP header contains JSON and we can provide some random password. So the traffic will direct to version two of review microservice that is reviews in black stars. If I log in as a different user other than the JSON, The traffic served is from version one of review microservice. So unless user JSON logs in, all users will be served with version one of review microservice. As we can see, almost 90% of the traffic is uh, flowing towards version one and all the traffic from user JSON is going to version two. Yeah, almost 96% now. I hope you guys uh, learned a lot and got a better understanding on how to get started with Istio. So I suggest you guys to visit uh, istio.io to explore more about Istio. Thank you so much.